Hello, crafty friends. I'm Lynn from Studio Kato, and I'm so glad you're joining me again today. Today I'm sharing a clean and simple rainbow snail mail card using stamps from Crafty Meraki. I started out by die cutting a stitched rectangle from the Mini Slimline Essentials bundle by Pinkfresh Studio, and then I'm using the snail image from the Totally Awesome stamp set by Crafty Meraki. Once again, I'm using my trusty Misty to stamp out this really simple image. I'm also using a sentiment stamp from the Home is Where the Heart is stamp set, also by Crafty Meraki. I'm stamping this in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I'm stamping it three times to intensify that black. This panel is one eighth of an inch shorter than A2 card, so I'll be trimming one eighth of an inch off of the width and of the length of the card. I'm using my Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils to color in this simple image. This paper is not the best for coloring with pencils, but luckily pencils are very forgiving, so it worked out in the end. I did notice that my pencils were picking up some of the texture of my work surface, my cutting mat. So I'll just be putting a piece of paper underneath my panel. As always, I am working from my darkest to my lightest shade, but in the end I might decide to go even darker with the shadows. I'm choosing a neutral brown for the snail itself because I will be using a lot of bright colors for its little shell. Another reason why I decide to color with my darkest color first and then blend it out to the lightest is that it helps me to figure out where the shadows need to be beforehand. Getting a rainbow blend like this with colored pencils is really easy. At the end of each color section you just taper off the intensity of the color and then layer the next color on top of it. Overlapping the colors just a little bit makes for a nice, easy blend. I'm just finishing up with the green here, and then I will add some highlights with white pencil on the shell. To deepen up the shadows and to add more contrast to the snail's body, I am using a black colored pencil. I didn't think the highlights were intense enough, so I'm going back in with my white pencil, and then I'll also use a gel pen. While I had my gel pen out, I thought why not add some details. So I'm just adding some dots here and there on the shell of the snail. I always try to vary my dots in size, so it looks a little bit more fun. And then I go in one more time to brighten up the highlights. To add a tiny extra element to this card, I'm adding a dash line as a snail's trail with a black fine liner. Now for the background, I'm going to be stenciling and in ink blending, but I thought a ripped edge to it would give it a nice layered look with just one layer of cardstock. I'm working on the Clairefontaine DCP 250 GSM paper, 
I really like this for ink blending. It's bright white and it's cheap. This stencil is one of the Ranger Lettered stencils. And I'm using some Pinkfresh Studio dye inks to make a rainbow. You can find the full list of inks in the description below. I'm moving my stencil over to continue the rainbow. And for this first layer, I am using very light colors, but I will add a second layer of darker colors just in a second. I'm moving my stencil so the lines of the stencil align with the lines I've already inked up. And then I'm using darker inks to ink in between the lines. I put the stencil slightly offset so there would be just some slivers of white in between all the colors. This will add some nice highlight to my stenciled piece. Offsetting and moving your stencil to add a second layer is a really fun way to step up your very basic stencils, whether it be stripes or dots or whatever you have in your stash. And again, if you're curious about all the ink colors I've used, you can find them in the supply list in the description below. And now for the super satisfying part, just peeling off that mask. It's always magic. And you can do a lot of basic masking like this with your regular purple tape or even washi tape. Now just to see how everything looks together and then I'll assemble the card. I'm using Belly Art Precision Craft Glue to glue the stenciled panel onto my card base. Again, this card base is slightly smaller, one eighth of an inch off the length and the width of the card. I then cut five strips of thick white paper to layer behind my snail panel and to add dimension. And again, I am gluing everything together with Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. This sketched line stencil is a little bit wonky, so the lines aren't completely straight, which made aligning this panel on top of my card a little bit challenging, but it worked out in the end. I'm finishing it up with some Majestic Sequins by Studio Katya getting the placement just right. And then I'll adhere everything once again with my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. The tool I'm using for this is by Dovecraft. It's a jewel picker, but you can also use a wax pencil. Those might be cheaper. And that's the finished card. Again, I'm gonna be making a matching envelope which just steps up your mail a little bit. I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board and just following the instructions on that to make an A2 sized card out of gray cardstock. I'm reinforcing and folding all the score lines with my bone folder. This comes with the punch board. And then I am adding some of the same stripes with the same stencil. I'm not going to cover the entire envelope, I'm just going to stick to the left corner and leave some space for an address. This time for some reason I started out with the dark lines and will do the light lines as a second layer, but it absolutely doesn't matter which order you go in. I'm varying the height of the stripes for a little bit more interest, and then I'll adhere the envelope together. That's it for this card and envelope. I really like the rainbow stenciling and the rainbow snail with that fun little sentiment. You can find a full list of supplies in the description below, as well as a link to the blog post and my Instagram. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and then I just want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.